name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather to celebrate this Eucharist, we again call to mind our sins and call upon the mercy of God so we can celebrate this Mass worthily. Lord Jesus, you came to save the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you sit at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that, by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. In your observance of the commandments of the Lord, your God, which I enjoin upon you, you shall not add to what I command you, nor subtract from it. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law, which I am setting before you today? The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. Oh 
A reading from the letter of St. James. Dearest brothers and sisters, all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. When the Pharisees, with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the traditions of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed. The purification of cups and drug, jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the traditions of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites as it is written? This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human traditions. He summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. For from within people, from their hearts, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, you disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. Given their strict attention to washing hands, these Pharisees and scribes would probably feel right at home in our pandemic conscious society. Of course, they were concerned about religious pur purity, not personal hygiene. But we can all relate to how meticulous they were. Still, Jesus rightly called their purity practices what they were, human tradition. Nowhere in scripture does God command his people to be so rigorously in cleansing themselves or their household items. Instead, what began as a precaution amongst the priests 
gradually morphed into a litmus test for every Israelite. It was kind of, if you didn't wash your hands just so, you were impure. It meant your faith was defective, or worse, you were defective. Litmus tests can make things clear and simple, but the Pharisees were using them in the wrong way. To determine what was pure and impure, they needed to focus on what was lurking in their own hearts, not what was contaminating them from outside. As Jesus warned them, it is the things that come out from within, our own sinful inclinations, that defile us. Our rules for hand washing today are aimed towards preventing disease, but we can easily fall into the same habit as these Pharisees did. We can focus more on what's on the outside, the culture or the action of other people, rather than facing the sinful desires in our own hearts. After all, it's painful to see just how capable we are of falling into sin. And it's easier just to apply a litmus test to the sins of the people around us. Jesus came to save us from sin, and we can count on him to give us the grace to deal with whatever is within us. So today, ask the Lord to search your heart. Ask him to help you see ways in which you are susceptible to sin. And ask him to keep cleansing you. Jesus, purify my heart today, we might pray. And let us offer our prayer of faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Conscious of the goodness of our God, let us present to him our needs, intentions, and prayers. Let the church grow in unity and remember Christ's call to love and serve one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That lawgivers ensure just laws and equitable taxes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For students returning to school, that they always be filled with the excitement of learning. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the farmers and ranchers who feed the world reap a bountiful harvest and share it with the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who gather at this table actively participate in celebrating Christ's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us ask that the Lord would grant eternal life to our deceased brothers and sisters, relatives and friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we offer you our prayers and intentions and ask now that you would hear us and grant them through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what is celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changings of times and seasons, you formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world and all its wonders to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. holy O Lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that, being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you and our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go in the peace and joy of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.